has there been a key purpose? Like, okay, I want to get better, but what was the first thing that you wanted to work on guitar wise? Oh, good question. Well, like, you know, so Nick Sid from Colorado is one of the greatest guitar players that I've ever seen play. And I'm not just saying that to be nice or toot my own, bo- my, my own band's horn, <laughs> my own ex, my own ex band's horn. Um, it's a, it's a fact. And I've had the pleasure of like playing beside him for almost, I mean, I've known Nixon since I was, since I was 13 or 14 and he was like nine or 10, something like that. Like I actually gave him guitar lessons when he first moved onto my street. No I way. Taught him how to play. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we met. Um, uh, he moved down the street and he moved from Hong Kong and he was this violin prodigy and, uh, he wanted to learn how to play guitar and his parents talked to my parents and, like, oh, yeah, Meadow uh, plays guitar, and I was 15. I knew how to play Smoke on the Water, you know? So <laughs> Nick came over, and I'm like, yeah, I showed him I showed him an E chord, and I showed him a C chord, and I showed him the cool riff of Smoke on the Water. And, uh, you know, within a year, he was uh, showing me how to play guitar, and that continued for the next 15 years. And when you play in a band with someone so good, it's easy just to kind of play along and not have to carry it yourself. And um, so it's been a really uh, interesting process learning how to like, you know, really get good at it and carry a song um, on your own. It's something I've never had to do. And it's funny. Uh, I'm going to give you one guess to the person who uh, has been helping me um, learn how to do that on my own. One guess. I'll give you one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um definitely like via FaceTime or Zoom or something like that. Um, well, I'll give you a hint. I was just talking about him. Right. I'm going to go with Nixon. Yes. That you is see, the this answer. is the thing. So, I've got my West Coast <laughs> eyes on, so I'm going to analyze everything beyond necessary. So thank you for bearing with uh, me. Back to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is this, a, is this a thing that we smoke doobies on? Is that, is that the vibe? This is just kind of what I do. I'm at home, so there's no rules here. Like, yes, this is going live through the radio station, social media, but the internet is a different animal. And I thought, look, um, this is an open, honest situation. That's what I am. And it's something that I rely on quite a lot to to, to unwind after mm. work. Certainly not before I go on the air, but when it comes to my bachelor pad, before I go on the air, it's not a phrase that I use because I'm in my corner of uh, my room on the internet, which I is very it. different. <laughs> I love that so much, not to be afraid to, like, you know, have a little fun. And, like, um, when you smoke a joint, you you explore a different part of your brain. Every show is a different uh, corridor, yeah. (laughs) And uh, it's uh, it takes some balls to do that uh, in a public audience. So I appreciate that. I might join you in a bit if this goes well. Fantastic. Fantastic. So, Menno, and welcome, hello to Debbie. Debbie says, true words, we are never done with growth. Bill says, hello to both of us. Katie's here as well. Amy's got the kids on the couch, the animals on the laps, and they're watching as well. Uh, Shell, you have one of those. Uh, that was about six minutes ago. What were we talking about? A guitar? I'm going to go with guitar. It could be anything. Hello as well to Ian. Thank you for being here. So, I had a little adorable picture up of the Colorado crew, which I found on the band accounts Instagram from like eight years ago earlier today it's the adorable one in front of that like it's all like polaroid pictures the four squares next to each other and with that dodgy looking wallpaper behind it that's the picture that the graphic i had up when you started talking about nixon oh wow that is our first ever band photo that's before we even took a band photo together that was like does it have our names written under under each of us in sharpie yeah 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 in sharpie that photo wow Good description because I'm not watching. Like uh, we tried to, I tried to figure out a way I could watch this and and at the same time, but I couldn't figure it out. So I'm just going to count on you to give me accurate descriptions of all the crazy shit you're posting. Is that cool? Yes, I, I am very detailed. You know this will go down very well. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, so that's literally the first ever uh, band band picture we did. That must have been 2006. We might have even been named a different band at that point. Colorado started, we played one show as Galactonaut. Galactonaut. Yeah. That's when we were like real stoners. And we were like, well, we've got to be a little bit less stoners and, and, <laughs> and, make, and make a band. But Galactonaut was, we, and we did one show in Ottawa as that, and that was in 2006. 
And I think that's when that photo is from. It's adorable. I love the haircut. For some reason, though, whoever took your picture, there's like zero headspace, maybe an inch at the top of the Polaroid frame for <laughs> everyone else. And for you, there's two feet. You look like you're four foot tall. <laughs> is that on purpose? What? No, nothing we, nothing Colorado ever did was on purpose. No, nothing to create <laughs> smiles. No, 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 no. <laughs> so it all just kind of happened. Yeah, geez, what a blur, eh? 